So tonight, Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump will face off in their first presidential debate. Now, this is a pivotal moment in the campaign for both candidates as battleground state polls show the razor thin margins separating the two. CBS News' Jared Hill is live this morning in Philadelphia with what to expect at tonight's debate. Jared, good morning. Good morning, Heather and AJ. And the question is going to be whether either of these candidates can do enough to sway those slim numbers of undecided voters in those key battleground states. What we do know is that both have been uh, preparing for this debate in very different ways. Anticipation is building in Philadelphia, where Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump are set to meet in person for the first time on the debate stage. Harris already previewed what she expects during a radio interview. I think he's going to lie. There's no floor for him in terms of how low he will go, and, um, and we should be prepared for that. The vice president has spent the past few days doing mock debates, practicing on a stage with lights, and sparring with a Trump stand-in, former Hillary Clinton aide Felipe Reynas, who even dressed like the former president. If I destroy her in the debate, they'll say, Trump suffered a humiliating defeat tonight, no matter what. Trump has said he doesn't need formal preparation, but he has been doing policy sessions with a small team of advisors, among them former Democratic presidential candidate Tulsi Gabbard. Tonight's debate comes at a critical moment for both campaigns as they try and win over undecided voters. Razor thin margins separate the two in just a handful of battleground states, according to the latest CBS News polls. Here in Pennsylvania, Harris and Trump are essentially in a statistical dead heat. I'm interested to hear what both individuals have to say. Um, I haven't swayed who I'm going to vote for. I will not be endorsing Donald Trump this year. Today, the Harris campaign is playing offense, releasing new ads ahead of the debate. Both candidates will return to barnstorming through key battleground states later this week. And this focus on the battleground states isn't just about the top of the ticket, right? Looking at some of the latest CBS News polling, uh, when it comes to the Senate races in Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, Democrats are currently leading, but the undecided vote, which is leaning in the GOP direction, could make up all the difference there. Meanwhile, tonight, uh, the rules are set. There will be no studio audience, and the microphones are going to be turned off for the candidate who is not supposed to be speaking. Back Pivotal moment indeed, mm -hmm. Jared. And I got to say, I do love the love statue out there in Philly. Perfectly framed. It looks great, Jared. It's nice, right? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Jared Hill in Philadelphia, thank you.